Hi, I'm Tom Rosenbauer. I've got a layering system to show you that will keep you warm, dry, and comfortable no matter what the weather. And the great thing about it is it's in layers so that you can add or remove layers as it gets warmer or cooler during the day. So first thing you do is start with your feet. And for warm weather, you know, in the middle of the summer, you, you do need some kind of sock because you don't want to get blisters uh, on your heels and, and um, you need something to cushion your foot a little bit. These Coolmax socks are terrific. They wick moisture away from your foot. They're elastic, so you can pull them up over your pants. They're plenty long enough to keep your pant legs from traveling up your leg. Now, when it gets cold, I use the same socks, the same wicking socks, to get the moisture away from my foot for my base layer. But then I add a pair of these most comfortable wading socks, which have a le uh, uh, looped merino wool inside. Very soft, very comfortable. And this really gives you all the warmth you need, even on the coldest days, even when it's 30 degrees out or 20 degrees out and you're staying in cold water, this will give you enough warmth in your foot. Next comes the underlayer. This is what you start with first. You can wear these under a pair of light nylon pants for cool weather or when it really gets cold. I like these fleece lined underweighter pants. The material itself looks like cotton, but it's a, it's a nylon, it dries quickly, and they're fleece lined inside. And so between this base layer and this fleece, this is all you need to stay warm on the coldest day. So I've got the same kind of base layer on top. I've got this thermocline base layer, which uh, comes in a crew neck or a zip neck, and it's just really comfortable stretch knit um, that you put on first. And then over that, I have the Thermal Pro fleece. The Thermal Pro comes in two weights. This is the lighter layer here, and I find that this stuff is so warm, I don't know if I'm ever going to use the heavier layer because uh, this layer is really fleecy, has a lot of loft, yet there's almost no weight to it. You can zip this up when it gets really cold. On top of that, I have the new rain jacket. It has these beautiful dry cuffs that keep your whole arm dry and warm, wind can't get up in there, water can't get up in there, the um, sleeves come down over there so your line doesn't get caught in it. It has a super waterproof zipper that doesn't have any buttons or snaps to get in the way. It's a natural fold over rain gutter in there, totally waterproof, totally windproof without having bulk in front of you. The pockets are slim, the pockets are big and roomy, and one of my favorite features are the fleece line hand warmer pockets. So by dressing in layers and dressing in layers that are specifically designed for fly fishing, you can stay warm and dry and safe no matter what the weather, whether it's 50 degrees and pouring rain or 20 degrees and uh, there's ice in your guides.